All right, in this video, we're going to add some buildings to the RTS game here. Uh, and just before that, I'm going to uh, organize some stuff here. I'll make a new folder called Units, and I'm going to put in my parent unit class, these children classes, and the images here. Drag those to Units, and I'll make another new folder here called Buildings. Open that up, and I'll make a new actor. So I'm going to call this Parent uh, Building Class. And I'll open that up here. And we'll set that up. I'm going to add a static mesh component. Uh, we'll call this building mesh. And uh, I'll just select the root here and add a decal. Uh, and I'll just uh, call that selected decal. Uh, and I'll set the material here to our selected decal. And I also need to rotate it 90 degrees on the Y. And we did this before with our unit setup. Uh, and I'm going to set the decal size here. I'll set the Y here to 100. Uh, and it auto scales the other axes here that are locked in. Maybe drop it down a little bit here. And uh, I want to set visibility to false because we'll turn this on and off with selection and deselection. All right, and then the building mesh, we don't want that to receive a decal. I'll just find receives decals, turn that to false, and compile and close. Uh, now I'm going to right click the parent building class here create a child blueprint class. I'll call this uh, first building. All right, uh, and I'll open that up here and I'll set the uh, building mesh here. I'm just going to set the static mesh to one of these shapes from the engine here. Uh, really, you can just grab anything. Um, and then what I'm going to do is drag one of these out onto the map. And now I want to set up functionality so I can click and select this building. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do actually is open up my uh, our, my interface here, RTS interface, and I'm going to modify one of these functions we already have here. Just change the name, actually. Uh, select unit. I'm going to change the name to select this. And deselect unit, I'm going to change the name to deselect this. So I'll reuse the same functions for units and buildings. Uh, and I'm going to go back here to my parent building class. And I'll just make those functions here on the event graph. I'm going to uh, first have to add the interface itself here. So I'll go to Class Settings, Interfaces, and add the RTS interface, Compile. And I'll right click here and say Event Select This, and also Event Deselect This. And uh, same as the unit setup here, I'm just going to grab the selected decal, drag from that, we'll say set visibility, uh, set to true, and it, when we deselect, we'll set to false. All right. Uh, so with that set up, I also need to go back to my unit parent, and I'll find that here under units, uh, parent unit class, and I'm just going to need to recompile here and make sure that these uh, event uh, name changes are updated. Um, so I'll close that, and uh, I'll also make sure in the um, marquee HUD blueprint, I'll open that up here. We have uh, deselect this there, we have select this there. Okay, so I'll just compile, make sure everything's good. And uh, the next thing I'm going to do here is open up my player controller. I'll just close these for now. Open the player controller, and I want to... Uh, put some extra logic here on the left mouse button when, when we press the button. Right now we just do this marquee pressed, uh, so I'll drag this way over here for now. Maybe just unplug the, the target. Okay, and what I want to do is say uh, get hit result under cursor by channel. And I'll take the hit result here, uh, and actually I'll just grab this and say break hit result. A little bit cleaner, makes the node uh, smaller here. I can grab the hit actor and say get class. Uh, and I want to use this one here, get class. And uh, just cinch this back up. All right, from the get class, I want to see if we are clicked on a building here. So I can actually say as a child of class is child of. And I'll plug in the parent building class. So if we've clicked on any building here, uh, we'll get this true or false from the branch. And if we did, if it's true, I want to grab this hit actor and say, uh, select this. All right, I'll plug this in here. 
and a couple of reroute nodes. Okay, and uh, I also want to keep track of what building we have selected. So I'm going to add a variable here called selected building. And the vari variable type can just be actor. That'll work fine. Uh, and I'll just put a set node here. And we'll set the selected building and I'll plug in the hit actor. All right. Uh, and then I'll just plug this back to Marquee Pressed. And what I'm actually going to do is just uh, grab all these nodes that I just added here from this one all the way to here, select everything. I'm going to right click, uh, collapse to macro, and I'll call this handle building click. All right. And so now I can drag this back here and uh, make this a lot neater. Okay. Uh, so that should handle our building click and uh, turn on our selected decal when we uh, click the building. Let's check out if that works. Uh, oops, got a compile error here. Uh, marquee pressed. Oh, I didn't plug the target back in. All right. So we'll give it a whirl. I'll try to click on the building here. Okay, and we selected it. And so now I just need to uh, be able to deselect the building. Uh, okay, so the next thing that we'll do here is... Um, actually, I'm going to make a interface call to be able to deselect the building from other blueprints as well. So first thing I'll do here, go to interface, add a function called clear selected building. And in the player controller, I'm going to make uh, an event for that. I'll just find the new spot here on the graph, event uh, clear selected building. And I'll drag in the selected building reference here. And from that, I'll say is valid. Uh, we'll see if we've loaded that up with anything, basically seeing if we have a building selected. Uh, and if it is valid, then I want to deselect the building. We'll say deselect this. All right. And then I also want to make the uh, selected building variable uh, equal to none. So we'll set this. And we don't plug anything in here, and that'll basically set it to none. Okay, I'll just comment this. We'll say clear selected building. And uh, now I can go ahead and I can call that from uh, what I'll do here is in the building click, uh, just before we do any of this other stuff, is we'll clear selected building. So basically, on any left click, any time the uh, player clicks the left mouse button, it's going to clear whatever the selected building is, if there is one. Uh, and if you happen to be clicking over top of a building uh, when, you, when you've clicked, it's going to reselect or select the one that you've uh, clicked on. All right, so let's check it out. Okay, so I can select the building. I can deselect the building. And uh, now let's see here. I've just realized I've broken the marquee select uh, here because, uh, let's see, if we hit a building here uh, off the true pin, we're doing select this, setting the val uh, variable, and then uh, heading through to this output. And that output is basically this pin right here that continues on uh, after the macro uh, to, to the marquee pressed. And the problem is, is if you didn't click a building and this is false, it's not coming through. I needed to plug this in here. Uh, so quick fix here, plug that in. And we'll try it out again. All right, so marquee selection is working again. And so just about done here, there's just one more thing, and that's uh, uh, we need to make sure in this kind of game, you typically don't want to have a building uh, selected at the same time as units. So if you have a building selected, uh, usually if you select any units, it will deselect the building. And it looks like that's what's happening here, and, and it is. Uh, but we have one problem, and that is uh, it's, uh, if I click on this building, let's say, and I'll select this building, but let's say I hold the button down and I'm actually dragging a marquee selection. Now I'm able to select units, and I have units selected and the building still selected. So we'll just fix that real quick here. And to do that, I'm going to go into my marquee HUD blueprint. And uh, I'm going to actually just going to make another quick change here. Originally, we set up the marquee HUD to get all the actors under the rectangle uh, with the class filter actor. 
And that doesn't make a lot of sense. We're actually only looking to get units. And so I'm going to set that to parent unit class. All right. And then also here, when we uh, select any units, if we do select a unit, what we want to do is make a call to that clear select building. So I'll say get player controller. Clear selected building. And now that'll make sure if we've selected any units uh, by way of the marquee selection, it's going to clear the building selection. So let's try it out here. Okay, I'll grab the building, uh, marquee select to here, and it's working. So uh, now pretty much we shouldn't be able to ever select a building and units at the same time, really, no matter what we do. Okay, so that pretty much covers uh, buildings for now. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.